Hey guys, Golden Puppy GSM here, and welcome to another video. So today the video is going to be reviewing my new doll, Julie Me number 64. I did get this doll when I was in New York City, which I did post a video about that, and I showed you already. But I figured I would just do a small review now, so you can actually kind of see me doing this. So this is my second Truly Me doll, so yeah, the only other one I've had besides her is Andrew, which is Truly Me number 32. So right off the bat, she is such a cute doll, and I love the new outfit. I did wish that they had this when I first got my doll, though, because the one that I have is just uh, one with a flower shirt, a skirt, and then... It has some boots, but this one is an adorable little dress with these sparkly shoes, and it has this blue cropped jacket. I think that this outfit's a lot better though, because it has a lot more color in it. Something that I do think would be cool though, is if they gave you a few different options of outfits, and you'd be able to choose one for your Truly Me doll. And it wouldn't like have different prices, it would just be all in price, and I think that that would be something that would be better. Anyways, I think that this is fine right now. That was just something that I thought might be kind of interesting. Now getting on to the doll. She does not have her ears pierced. She has a light skin tone. Something that's really pretty about her is if you look at her eyes, which are brown, she has these little marks next to them and it kind of gives her eyes a little bit more of a difference per se to some other dolls. She has feathered eyebrows, not much lip color, just kind of, that's not as pink as some others. And then she has short black brown hair. She also has a side part in her hair. I don't have that many dolls with short hair. Usually a lot of them have longer hair, so I like how she has shorter hair like this. She also has the Jess face mold. As you know, American Girl doesn't use the strings anymore. I will put on screen what they do use. I can't quite remember. I think it was zip ties, but... Yeah, so she does not have that. So yeah, that is just pretty much it. I mean, there's not really much to reviewing this doll. I mean, she's super adorable, and I'm starting to kind of get into looking at dolls who are different from some of the rest. One of my favorites is a Truly Me that has medium skin tone, but then she also has blue eyes, and she is the only doll that is Truly Me with medium skin tone and blue eyes, and she is super beautiful. And I also like a few others, which I'll put on screen. I like the different ones, and there are only two dolls at American Girl that are truly me that have the caramel hair and there used to only be one but then they added another one they actually added two and made a few adjustments to the crate you're on which I might check that out sometime anyway so I'm going to be showing you some photos of her from New York and also her outfit And before you go, please comment some names for this doll because I have no idea what to name her. I have created a list of names in case I did get a new doll, which, of course, here she is. But I'm not sure what to name her, and it would be really helpful if you guys commented any more names. Because I did get a few from my New York video, and I'm thinking of considering one, and one specific one is Amber. I think that's a really pretty name. But I'm still not sure yet, so if you commented a name, that would be really helpful. Alright, thank you. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Click the notification bell to get notified when I post. Bye guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.